Howdy y'all, welcome back to TriCraft, and today I am completely disappointed because I just turned this sucker on and the stupid thing didn't record because my stupid external hard drive, stupid, being stupid, erg, 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 <sighs> okay, so I got an achievement for turning this on and it was a big deal. These are all full and everything's exciting and surprisingly enough this it says it takes a ton just to turn it on and less to maintain it but it barely touched it. It barely touched these things. Um, yeah these are doing okay. Um, towers are doing nice. I chiseled the glass a little bit just you know just to mix it up make it look a little cool just a little cool these are all jacked nice uh... I gotta go grab the other thing gotta go grab the other thing um... yeah so I recorded the turning it on and getting all excited and blah 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 and yeah my hard drive went no sorry no soup for you it's like, oh, sweet, thanks. So, yeah. So I missed the big day. <laughs> the big moment. Oh, well. Oh, so this is what I did over here. Put this stuff like this and things and so water source and uh, table and blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. So this will go there. And let's do two. Let's do let's do one one oh I put it there? No. Okay. Uh, 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 give me, give me some dirt. Give me some dirt. 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 Let's do. I know y'all probably getting sick of seeing freaking Batania, but all of this has a purpose trust me it all has a purpose okay uh... let's do one there one there <laughs> trust me he says it all has a purpose he says you to there you to there actually where function mode okay so sparing mint no no oh. It's like my first day or something. Holy crap. You. There. Jesus. And sneeze. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. Alright. Now, function mode. Thank you. Sparing mana. Sparing mana. Sparing mana. Sparing mana. Okay. So these should be doing things. I don't know if I need to put them down. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I need to put them like on or next to. I might have to put them like right there. 
This is like actually something I don't know. Okay, uh... Wah, 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 wah. I need to kill... Oh, I need to do the thing to do the thing. I don't have my book on me. There you are. I need a guy of spirit. Ooh, this is what I need to do, actually. I turned the sucker on. Here, have a book. Thank you. New book. Ha 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 ha. A message from Melvin Guard. Yeah, um, you can read this later when you do it yourselves. Uh, I've already read this and done this stuff. So we're going to just kind of skip over it. Rich Gaia. Blah, 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 required an active beacon. With some ga Gaia pylons. One of above the beacon as the altar, as well as a single terrestrial ingot as a sacrifice. So in order to get a Gaia pylon, you need pixie dust and elementium. Elementium is mana steel, correct? Yes. Two mana steel equals one. Two mana steel ingots equals one ingot. Two blocks equals one block. Not what I wanted. Uh, pixie dust is a mana pearl. And I need an active beacon. Now that looks like an elementium blocks. Four elementium blocks, four mana steel blocks. I think they did it just like that, just because that's active and it's Batania and whatnot. Place the pylons one block above the beacon. One, two, three blocks out. So it just needs to be an active, and then it needs to be three blocks out, and then you need the beacons. So we should right click the beacon block with a terror steel ingot. Take a step back and prepare to fight for your life. It can be even harder than that of the wither. Upon defeating the guardian, we'll collect the prize, a handful of spirits of Gaia. I need the spirits of Gaia. Effect of the beacon is nullified during the battle, so that should be taken in mind. Uh, the common attire for this ritual is a set of enchanted elementium armor, a terror blade, and a large assortment of brews and baubles. <laughs> a large assortment. I love how he says a large assortment. Um, so that that's what we're going to get working on. Now, I must confess that I am hungry. And that I am in blaze form. But I must confess... I don't know if I want to deal with the Terra Steel whatevers. This says, uh. No, where was it? A set of enchanted elementium armor. A set of enchanted elementium armor isn't as good as a set of Terra Steel armor, which is odd. Uh, a Terra Blade, though. A Terra Blade? I would definitely make a Terra Blade. Um, I was looking up right matter stuff. Don't mind that. <laughs> I'll see if it was worth making that stuff too. Uh, I already made the terror blade. Yes, okay, never mind. I already made the terror blade. Now, why would I use the terror blade when there's things way more powerful than a terror blade? This I don't understand. That's probably why you need a large assortment of brews and baubles. But I will make the elementium. Um, I wouldn't mind the Terra Shatterer. These things are pretty exciting. Oh, it takes a mana tablet. Get all the way up to SS rank. You can like destroy whole mountains, with, like one swing. Now, what I ultimately want this for is for these things. These flugel. No. Okay. How about tiara? There we go. 
We'll just do that. Oh, Flugel. See, I need the umlauts. Oh, and I spelled it wrong, too. Nice. The Flugel Tiara. This gives you flight. Like Red Bull. It gives you wings. Now, there's these are all just different kinds of wings. There's the just the Flugel Tiara with no wings. Gaia Spirits. Gaia Spirits. Elementium. Ingots. Which are really easy to get. Feathers. And this. The Ender Air Bottle. This is one of the reasons why I went and found the end. Because I need one of these. Uh, not in here, but obviously uh, on the... Uh, sorry, I'm getting my I'm getting my mod packs confusing. Confused. Confused. I went and found the end in Ferret Business so I could get the Ender Air because the recipe is the same. Um, in here, I don't... We found the end already, haven't we? Yeah, we found the end. In fact, I think uh, Merp is uh, killing it. Is killing the dragon. Not as we speak, obviously. No one else is on, but I think that's his plan. Um, yeah, so at this point, let's, uh, let's take a quick break. Let me get some stuff together and um, maybe make some stuff. All right, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so here's something that um, I don't know if I showed this on camera or not, but uh, this pack has it set up to where you can make any mob drop you want. And one of those mob drops uh, just so happens to be Nether Star. So there's actual Nether Star recipe. And... It's uh, it's not that expensive. I mean, there's the the usual peaceful one, but there's actually another star recipe. Two blocks of gold, a block of emerald, and two blocks of diamonds and some redstone get you another star, and uh, yeah. So I did that, and it's in the table. So I got another stars. I actually did that a long time ago because I've found that out that the DNS uh, mod that they put in the DNS tech pack allows for another star recipe so yeah alright so there's no need to fight any freaking withers basically unless you want a division sigil which you can get from chests from great wood trees so you don't even need to do that either but uh yeah so I got a beacon now I need a, a full on beacon, which I don't, I don't no, I'm not going to put it in here. What am I thinking? I'm not going to put it in here. We're going to do this outside. <laughs> what am I crazy? In fact, we'll probably go to the mining dimension and do this. So let me get, all right, well, I got Everything's set up already in here. And by set up, I mean recipe wise. So, Gaia pylons, four Gaia pylons. So, I got that. I got blocks of iron for V beacon. And I need one Terra steel. Other than that, that's enough for the recipe. The recipe, the uh, ritual right there. So I'm not going to do it today. Not going to do it today. Because I still need to figure out what armor I want to wear and what kind of weapon I want to use. But if anybody wants to join me, um, this guy teleports around a lot. And if you see particles, get away from him. I think it's purple smoke. If you see purple smoke, get away from him. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's probably about as hard as the wither. If not a little bit harder. Because he TPs around. So you got to kind of chase him down. If you have some ranged weapons, bring them. Um, I guess that's probably why the uh, Terror Blade is is a, a good thing because it's got the whole, you know, death beams. The whole lasers thing going on. So, yeah, uh, next episode, uh, boss fight, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking boss fight next episode. As soon as I figure out what uh, kind of armor I want to wear. 
which is one reason I was looking at the red matter. I know nothing about the red matter. I heard, though, that it gives you flight. Why didn't hear? I read it. I read that it used to give you flight, the red matter armor. It used to give you flight. And if that's the case, then I might just say screw the tear seal, and I wouldn't even need the freaking tiaras, so I'd be essentially just wasting my time. But I want to kill this, uh, the Batani boss. So, yeah. So anyways, uh, I got some thinking to do. I got some explaining to do. Uh, Lucy. I really like how that looks. I'm really tempted to build the uh, beacon and pylon uh, assemblage uh, a floor above. But he's going to TP in and out of this thing, so it would be useless to summon him in here. Uh, I don't know if he causes damage, if he does world damage or not. But um, that's why I'm just going to do him in the mining dimension. Because I know he TPs around a lot, and I want to be able to find him. So there's a lot of trees and things, and it'd just be hard to find him. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Um, we broke the forty, the 40K, the 40,000 views mark to, uh, recently, uh, yesterday actually, uh, which is Friday when I'm recording this. So by the time I see this, it'll be like, this is going to come out on Monday. But uh, yeah, so thank you everybody, all my subs, everybody that supported me and helped me and watched me and pressed all the pretty little buttons and all that fun stuff. We broke the 40,000 views mark. It's a milestone. It's completely pointless milestone, but it means something to me because I remember saying thank you for breaking the 700 views milestone, <laughs> meal mark. So 40,000 is pretty crazy. When the last time I thanked somebody for, for views, it was at 700. So again, thank you everybody, and uh, y'all have a good day. Later, y'all.